Joining us now here in the fire room number four of the Launch Control Center, about three and a half miles away from Discovery on its launch pad, I have Charlie Blackwell Thompson, who is the NASA test director, and uh, taking a couple minutes to talk to us about uh, how the test went this morning how, so far. I know you've got a, another whole day to go before you, you wrap it up, but how did, how did things go so far this morning? Well, uh, thanks for having me, Allard. Let's see. This morning things went really well. We got into tanking right at 7 o'clock when we uh, gave a go for both the loading of both the commodities for liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Um, had no issues at all during the tanking and got both commodities in to replenish right at 10 o'clock. Uh, one of the things that we were watching, as I'm sure uh, you were and many others uh, across the country and in this firing room, was as we uh, got uh, toward uh, topping on the hydrogen tank, we were certainly looking at uh, at the GUP and its performance, and, and everything worked perfectly, and we didn't see any leaks there. So that's a good news story for us and one of the objectives of this test. So certainly glad to have that behind us. Um, other than that, we had no issues during tanking at all. Um, everything went very well. We'll continue to collect data on this tank, and the, the folks will go and review that, and then we'll have some report outs on that and, and see what we learned as a result of the test. Now, um, the final inspection team is doing its, uh, its walk down to the pad right now, but it's a slightly augmented team. And you can see them out there on Launchpad 39A uh, right now. Um, just walk us through what, uh, what they're walking through. <laughs> Well, it's a fairly standard uh, inspection for them, the, very similar to what we do on launch day. A little bit different this time around. Uh, we do have eight, eight people on the final inspection team. Normally it's a seven-person team, and we have that extra members out there to actually operate a, uh, a telescope. Um, we have a 21 megapixel camera that will be uh, mounted to that telescope, and really the purpose of that is just to give us a little bit better, more detailed, closer up view of the tank. So as we take a look at the tank and its performance during this inspection, uh, we'll just get a little bit closer and a little bit better views this time around, and we have an extra person dedicated to the operation of that telescope. And you'll be able to see that once they get down to the zero level, you'll see the use of that telescope at that time. Now, you said it's pretty standard. Um Obviously, the area of focus really has been around the inner tank area, the, the rib portion around the stringers. Are they doing anything, spending a little more time looking at that area, or is it really just is what would be a standard walk down like you would see on, an, on a typical launch day? Well, it's a fairly standard launch, uh, walk down like we have on launch day. Certainly, uh, we have a little bit of extra time uh, allocated, and the folks will be taking a closer look uh, at the tank. But we do a very thorough inspection on launch day, and so we would expect that it will be that same level of inspection. Again, we have uh, this, the telescope and, and this camera th that gives us a little bit better resolution, a little bit better views. And so we'll be uh, using those tools, but um, it's not a, a great deal different than what we would expect to have on launch day. And the idea, I guess, behind that is that you you want to make sure that you're not missing anything that you aren't looking for. If you're focusing on the inner tank, then you might miss something else. So, therefore, they, that's why they're doing sort of a standard inspection. Yes, sir. That's correct. And uh, kind of alluded to it when you first uh, joined us, technically with with fueling being over, and, yes, you, you, this afternoon you guys will get into the uh, – um, actually, if you just walk us through what, you know, the, what the rest of the – major milestones for this modified content will be, if you if you would. Certainly. Well, you mentioned that we have uh, a little over 20 minutes left on our hold here at T-minus three hours. Uh, the final inspection team will uh, continue coming down the stack. Uh, they will they initially went up to the 255-foot level, and then to the 215, um, they'll come down to the 195, the 135, and then down to the 95-foot level. Again, continuing their uh, standard inspection. And, um, and they'll be sending their data and their pictures back to the firing room just as they do on launch day, and then they'll do their report out uh, once they get back here what their findings were. That takes us, uh, countdown clock will pick up and begin counting right around uh, 11 o'clock, and we'll count down to our standard hold point at T minus 20 minutes. We have a 10 minute built in hold at 20. Uh, you probably recall, just like on launch day, that's when we uh, make all of our preparations for transitioning the uh, onboard uh, computers from the ground format mode into an ascent uh, telemetry format mode. And so we'll transition the, the computers at that point. Uh, count down to T minus nine minutes. So we have a 10 minute hole built in at nine. Uh, we'll make sure that, um, again, pretty standard between 20 and nine, just like on launch day. And I think Mike talked a little bit about, Mike Leinbach, that we had some systems that are not configured for the tanking test. So there's, there's a few deltas. But for the most part, uh, standard countdown from 20 to 9, we'll get down to 9. We'll hold for a quick 10 minutes on launch day. That's a 40-minute hold mm -hmm. 
uh, we'll make sure that the team is ready to pick up from nine, and then we'll count down to um, to 31 seconds where we'll hold. And the idea from going from nine down to 31 and doing that final terminal portion of count is so that we can get the uh, the tank to flight pressure and, uh, again, take a look at the performance when we're at the flight pressures. And then we'll hold at 31 seconds. Once we have... Uh, uh, once we're ready, we'll go ahead and go through what we call cutoff, which is uh, similar to what you hear on launch day. And, uh, well, we actually hope not to hear it on launch day, <laughs> but, but when we scrub. Uh, which which or, we did last time, so yes. <laughs> yeah, or in the event that we have an issue, um, the same words will be used, and then we'll go through our standard uh, recycle control. And, uh, and, and it's pretty standard from that, on, that point on. But for us, uh, from a countdown perspective, it looks very similar from, from where we are now all the way down through count, except, of course, there's, there's no launch at the <laughs> end, which is uh, the maybe, payoff. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not quite as fun, but, um, but certainly we're very, uh, very excited about meeting the objectives of this test. Which, and apparently that will continue even after you've started draining the tank, half an hour after you cut off you're going to continue using those sensors, strain gauge and temperature sensors, right, until uh, tomorrow, basically. Yes, that is true. We'll uh, continue looking at this data. We'll get through, uh, we'll get through drained. Currently, that's scheduled for about uh, 1,700. Just before 5 p.m., we should be through our drain operations, and then we'll continue taking data on these sensors until we get back to ambient conditions. So uh, this instrumentation will be in work for, uh, for a good part of the day. All right, well, Charlie, thank you for taking a couple minutes to walk us through what the, what the rest of your day is going to look like, which is still busy, even though we've gotten through the fueling portion. Uh, now it's uh, the rest of it that they have to, to get through. So thank you for taking a couple minutes to talk to us. No problem. My pleasure. <laughs> and that's Charlie Blackwell-Thompson, uh, NASA test director uh, here in fire room number four in the uh, launch control center.